In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade the firmware on a Lightware SF30D LiDAR uh, using RG Pilot's serial pass-through feature. Uh, this allows you to upgrade the firmware without disconnecting the uh, LiDAR from the autopilot. Now, in this case, though, you'll see that I've connected the LiDAR uh, to the autopilot's I2C port right here. So um, serial pass-through does not work with I2C. So the first thing we need to do is to change this over to use the serial connector. So disconnect this. And I'm going to disconnect the I2C cable. And I'm, I'm going to replace it with this serial cable that I've got. Right. And then I'm going to connect it onto one of the autopilot serial ports. I guess I'm going to use uh, Telem1. Then I'm going to connect USB cable to my PC. Then over here on my main PC, I've connected with the mission planner. And I'm going to go to the config full parameter tree. And I'm going to type in serial1. And what I need to do is I need to make sure that the baud rate, serial 1, matches the LiDAR. So according to the SF10, SF11 uh, wiki page for Ardor Pilot, the baud rate needs to be 115. So the default is 57. I'll just change that to 115. Now for that to take effect, I need to reboot the flight controller. So I go to uh, data screen, actions, select pre-flight reboot. Do that. And I'm going to reconnect again. Okay, next I'm going to go back to the config full parameter tree screen and I'm going to type in serial underscore. And this is where we can see the serial pass through parameters. So we've got pass one and pass two. That means that we're going to pass. USB, which is zero, to some other port. Right now it's set to minus one, meaning that it's disabled. So I've got the LiDAR connected to serial one or telem one. So I'm going to set this to one. Now, um, after I write that parameter, I'm going to only have 15 seconds before it's going to revert to minus one and cut off the connection. 15 seconds is a little short, so I'm going to make that 30. I have up to 30 seconds to connect uh, using pass through. So I'll write that. Now I'm going to disconnect with the mission planner and I'm going to pull up the Lightware Studio. And it's already got selected here, the COM port for the autopilot. There we are. It's connected now to the SF30D and I can come over here to the upgrade screen and I can select which release I want. So I'll pick the latest release and install. Now uh, it actually shows that I'm going to be going back two versions because I was running a beta version, but that's, that's okay for this test. So there we've uh, successfully upgraded the firmware on the LiDAR without directly connecting the LiDAR to my PC. I've done it all using the serial pass-through feature in ArchPilot. 